Final Act of Love. September 21, 2014. In the seclusion from source, the mightiest light columns tower into heaven and the loneliness is the permanent companion of these manifested light beings in human flesh. And there is not one who doesn't painfully experience this loneliness. It is the distinction of great prophets that in seclusion their flame of devotion to God blazes the strongest. The prophets recognize each other, yet they do not know each other. The light warriors of the first and last hours enter into God's light as a unique light expression and merge with the wellspring of all that is. I am Archangel Raphael. Beloved light warriors of the end time. You, who until last, like a light tower, all, one hold a position and provide a sure light of orientation to those, who are in danger to go astray. You, who withstand any weather, who are trained through many turns, who meet every renewed upsurge of a storm unruffled and determined. You, who are anchored in yourselves, who are aware on account of self, and who are alive due to divine love, you have truly been sent by God in order to be of great healing service to this world. Loneliness and Separation And therefore this time, wherein the light towers become rare instead of more, wherein your light in the eyes of the ignorant ones is dimming rather than increasing, wherein fallacy multiplies instead of reduces, wherein the reality and illusion exist in a unique neighborship, is the most demanding time of all times. I say to you, the loneliness is the divine fire, therein the noble is refined and the light filled attains its full brilliance. And this loneliness accompanies every awakened one and lasts until the service on a low vibrating level of the universe has been done. Levels, which are defined by the illusion of God's absence, always bring forth this condition in the awakened ones, whereby the all that is is experienced as an unbearable separation from the source. This condition will only be finalized in the complete merger with the wellspring of all that is, and this occurs as soon as a being has completed his assignments in worlds far removed from heaven. The greatest masters experience the greatest separation from God on the sluggish level, and they are fully aware of this. It is necessary to understand this, so that your suffering is reduced and thereby the flame of devotion to God never extinguishes. Every prophet, every master, any awakened one has, in full consciousness, agreed to his life, fully conscious and in infinite love to this world, whereto he has been sent for eons. And today the assignments of the masters are fulfilled, whereby the transformation as an act of love is handed over to mankind. This planet and the processes, which build up in these days, before they appear, need the physical presence of those who move in the matrix of this world as light warriors of the first and last hours, and whose names are indelibly linked to the success of this mission and will remain so for eternity. And again the illusion of separation from God is experienced, does the loneliness of a few exist under the many, and it searches in vain for its equal, because the longing for the eternal beloved God by many worlds towers above any human measure of love. Devotion and Fulfillment and it is this pain that provides the last transformation energy for ascension, as a propulsion spring for the last of all journeys. It is the tree of life whereupon every sacred decision ripens and grows, thrives and blossoms, until the extent of the harvest reveals itself. Nobody comes to God without having gone through the valley of loneliness, because this path stokes the flame of devotion. Thereby the unbearable becomes liberating at the same time. The pain of the soul is interlaced with love, and the torment of separation is the sacred promise of fulfillment that fulfills itself, in these days. Human beings are aware of this. Those, who are in service in this world and yet are not of this world, until it is fulfilled what needs to be fulfilled. Whereupon all saints of these days will come to the festivity table of the Lord, the Father, the Mother, the all that is reality of God. The world creates itself anew and before it rises up from the rubble of the old time, the saints of these days walk through the last sections along the way, whereupon no one has stepped on before. In order to pave the new paths for the great flock of human beings, so that a few will join the few, who find themselves in the light of the fifth dimension of all that is. The greatness of your service conforms to the mission in the universal context. 
and even though the majority of human beings remains behind, you have nonetheless triumphed, because a new world is being born, and thanks to you, a new level of creation can be breathed into reality, by you. Mankind had the choice and human beings have chosen. Now all worlds and all human beings will be confronted by their choice and they will see the fruits of their trees, richly for the ones, poorly for the others. God is with you, those, who breathe necessary life into these important hours. So that it may be fulfilled what long ago demanded fulfillment, and now due to many turns of time, had to be waited for until today, the ascension of this world into the light and the arrival of human beings, whose flame of devotion blazed for eternity, in the care of the Creator. Carry your loneliness like a sacred seal, because those, who have it, theirs is God's kingdom in heaven. I am Archangel Raphael. Channeled by Jan J. Kozel. Translated by Franz. www.lichtweltverlag.blogspot.com